Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This card is used in the stamp set Hello Cupcake. And I'm going to be using the cake case, the topping and the sentiment sweet wishes. What did I do inside? I'll celebrate your day and celebrate your day. So we need to get that out because I never got it out. Celebrate your day. Put that on there. All right. To make this card, you'll need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. Scored at four and one eighth and burnished. Burnished. And um, two pieces of white cardstock at three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. A piece of the gingham paper from Butterfly Garden of Sweet. Um, I'm using Highland Heather today. Oh, sorry, and this is three and seven eighths by three and three eighths. And some scrap for this um, shape and the top of the cake. All right, the shapes are not Stampin' Up. Stampin' Up did do one something like this. Maybe they still do, I don't know. But I have got my own. And I'm going to cut one of them out. And then at the bottom of this, I have embossed just half of or a third of the cardstock. And I used this embossing folder. It's got stars and it is by Designer Objective Limited. Whoever they are. Anyway, I've got that. So that's what I'm going to use. So we'll do that first. So I need one of them and that. Take that out of the way. Bring up the big shot. I've got stuff right in front of me so I can't put the big shot. inks in front of me, that's what it is. So, we'll cut this out first. Since it'll only take two minutes, will it go that way? No. Go that way and waste card. Bring it back. Right, that's that cut. Then with the embossing folder, all I did was embossed about a third of the card. Oops, got to take away this plate. In and emboss that. And that's it embossed like that. I think it's quite pretty. Right, so we don't need that no more. Put the plates back. Get rid of that. Oh, we need that. So let's get rid of this die. That lives in with me. Number 11 packet. So 
the one to stamp on here and do my stamping I'm going to stamp the cake paper in soft suede and I'm just going to stamp that there oh did you see that Uh, my cloth, wipe my stamp, and then I want the sentiment sweet wishes. And I'm going to stamp that at the top in the middle. Remember, if you're using photopolymer stamps, to use your stamping mat. I don't need to use a stamping mat as I have got a lot of padding with my glass mat that gives and obviously this um, paper pad. If I didn't have them I would use my um, stamping mat. Right, the, the top of the cake I put on um, dimensionals. So, with Highland Heather, we're going to stamp out the top. And you've guessed it, we're going to hand cut it. the inside on the inside of this I put celebrate your day and I put the what them sugary bits you put thousands and ones or sprinkles on it and I never got the stamp out for that so take that off of there so all I did for that was stamp it down the page and that was all I done. Oh, I know what I was going to do with gorgeous grape I was going to put some sprinkles on this and just some dark darker sprinkles on it and then with the word I'm going to do that in dark. Celebrate your day. I'm going to stamp that inside. A oh, lovely stamp. Do love the scent. Do love the font on that. Right. Close these up. snips we're going to cut out our cake topping
better but easier to handle a great big piece of paper right cut it round as far as you can go and then come back on yourself I've left a little white border all the way around this just like that and that will sit on top of the cupcake on dimensionals so I'm not going to stick it on just yet I'm just going to put the dimensionals on that yeah that's one on the top and put a little tiny one there right so that's that that's that that's rubbish so we need And this gets stuck on there like that, so we'll stick that down. That should be exactly the same width as your white piece of card oh, I, ha I don't have gorgeous great ribbon but I have this purple ribbon which I think will do just as good like that and what I did was get some double sided tape on the back take the back in off don't need that anymore With my ribbon, place that where I want it, which is covering the join of the ah. join of the um, card and paper. Nice and straight. Put it on there. And then we add this to our card base. So add extra glue to the emboss bit. this on I also put it on dimensionals but I lost the top of my oh, before I put the glue on I'll put this piece in and just put that in there
Right, and um, there is my lid of my glue. Back to the dimensionals. I think I use five. Maybe I didn't use five. Because I would have put one there. And there. And one in the middle. And then just pop that in the middle of your card. That's nice. Take the backings off your topping. And place that. On your kick. And there you have it. A quick, easy birthday card with a cake. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe and press, press the bell button next to the subscribe button and you'll be notified of any more cards I upload which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon Bye!